honestly is basically a shopping assistant that lives in the browser and kind of exists there to democratize information for consumers uh, about sustainability and, and ethical practices. I think all of us kind of felt very strongly uh, that the information surrounding how sustainably and how ethically these products are sourced was important. It was something that consumers would care about and it should be something that's factored into the already complex decision-making process that people go through uh, when they decide to click buy now. For example, if we're looking to buy a new pair of shoes, you'll see how far would these shoes be shipped from their original location and how much carbon would be emitted associated with that travel. And from that, you'd be able to kind of make a judgment call on whether that brand and that specific product is something that reflects your values and something that you'd be willing to purchase. So our solution uses a combination of technologies, HTML, CSS, JavaScript for the front end. Uh, that all is composed with a node engine on the back end connected to a Postgres SQL database. In terms of the news aggregator, we use the news API connected up to Watson Language Natural Understanding engine. And then beyond that, it's generally all just in JavaScript node. So it's a team of five of us. And I guess luckily for us, we're five very close mates. Uh, so that was advantageous. And yeah, like lockdown and being remote obviously did weigh into it being a bit of a challenge. Like there's, there's obviously technical challenges that we have to overcome. Also, none of us are supply chain, consumer, like marketing experts by, by any means. So to get around that, we spoke to a bunch of people in industry and also academics to really try and inform how we actually designed the extension itself. During all those different conversations, we did design it in Figma and over about three weeks, uh, developed it into an extension. Longer term, our ultimate goal is to essentially pressure bigger businesses into actually being more transparent in their actions and in the supply chain, um, and essentially just to make the whole world a more, more ethical world.